this is, um, it's really fun. Um, I have been, I'm originally from Denver, and I've been in Rochester now for a little over 20 years. And um, some people that I've met early on when I moved here, it's really exciting that I'm actually working closer and closer with them. And one of them is uh, Jim Sinal. Um, and it, it's been really fun um, really seeing some of the tipping points and uh, some of the seeds that he has planted over 10 years ago when I met him the first time when he was over at uh, Greater Rochester Enterprise, and now see what he's doing here in Rochester. Um, I'm sure most of you know him, um, but for those of you that don't, I want to introduce um, Jim is the president of NextCore um, that is actually located on the sixth floor, and there are more than 800 um, startups have actually gone through uh, the work at NextCore, and he's going to tell you a little bit about that. Um, and um, he's the managing director as well for the Rochester Angel Network and has just a real real dedication to entrepreneurship and was really pivotal in actually choosing, I think, five, five or six years ago to actually be in the Sibley building. And I think one of the reasons we're here now is because he made that decision a while back to, to bring startups down to the city, and, um, and now they're thriving, and now we're starting to work on the community for them to grow, which is fantastic. So Jim, I'd like you to come on up, please. Thank you, good to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, happy Friday, everybody. It's great to see everyone. Um, as Jennifer mentioned, I'm Jim Sinal, and I'm just gonna, I'll be really brief, tell you a little bit about NextCore and some of the stuff going on in the ecosystem here. As she mentioned, we're on the sixth floor, so this is the easiest meeting I've gotten to in the last couple of weeks, so we love it when there's meetings here uh, or right downtown. Um, so we are a nonprofit. Our mission is to help innovative tech companies launch and grow. Um, we have a board that's really representative of the community, so um, the city and the county and U of R and RIT and uh, venture funds and a lot of entrepreneurs are on the board and they really help um, drive the direction and the mission of the organization. But we've got about 28 employees. And we operate, this is an eye chart and it's cut off, but you don't need to really understand it. We operate six different programs today to help businesses grow. So our incubator, which is upstairs, has about 65, 66 tech startups in it today. We have several what are called accelerator programs and Galen mentioned accelerators. Accelerator is more of a cohort based, time limited, usually companies get money as part of it. Uh, program. The biggest is Luminate. You may have heard that name in the news. Two weeks ago, we had the finals for that event um, where the winning company is a company that does laser dicing of semiconductor wafers to imp improve the yield. So with all the semiconductor work going on, it's a really interesting technology. That company is from Germany. Um, so we're having companies from all over the world coming to Rochester for these programs. We have two in climate tech. We have uh, one in software, uh, Matt Foley in the back runs our incubation and our Bark software program. And we have some programs for manufacturers, but all in we're working with 150, 200 different companies kind of a year and I see several of them in the, in the audience that are in some of these programs. As was mentioned, um, we are on the sixth floor. We moved into that facility back in 2018 and it was a very intentional decision to move our headquarters from Henrietta to downtown Rochester. There was a lot of work going on, Brookings Institute and others about the rise of innovation districts. We really wanted to be front and center in the middle of downtown Rochester and help build an innovation district in Rochester, New York. And so after a lot of work and working with the regional council and convincing a lot of folks that this was important, uh, we were super excited to cut the ribbon uh, upstairs back in 2018. The incubator, and we, we welcome everyone to come take a, a tour at some point. We also have a virtual tour of the space on our website, but it offers co-working space, uh, prototyping labs, digital media studio, coaching, mentoring, all the things you would expect from a typical incubator facility to help support entrepreneurs. But also, so let's talk about ecosystem a little bit. So that's the sixth floor. Also just in this building over the last couple of years, there's um, Skull Diamond Heart Capital uh, right upstairs. So a new VC kind of moved in not too long ago. U of R has their student incubator upstairs. I forgot to mention that. The commissary obviously here, Venture Jobs Foundation, and a lot of other things just happening in this footprint. But beyond that, and as Galen already talked about, the downtown innovation zone. So we were kind of excited to work with uh, then mayor um, and his um, staff, as well as Galen's predecessor, Heidi Zimmermeyer, to create the downtown innovation zone when we planted the flag down here. Um, 
Located across the street is RIT's Venture Creations Incubator, RIT's Center for Urban Entrepreneurship. We just heard about Innovation Square, which is amazing, the stuff going on at Innovation Square. So over 190, 193, it looks like, innovation and creative class companies just in this little geography. So you're starting to see that cross-pollination, which is really what everyone wants to see. Um, we pulled a few stats because we were kind of like, how are we actually doing as a community? Um, we don't have enough venture capital, we don't have enough deal flow, et cetera, et cetera. So we actually decided to use PitchBook, which tracks deal flow uh, and deals across the country, um, and say, what has happened? So since 2018, which is about four and a half years worth of data in PitchBook, we've had 97 Rochester headquartered startup companies get venture investment, which is more than I would have guessed. Um, it's about 700 million invested. This excludes private equity deals, debt deals, other stuff. This is really just venture deals. And 153 different investment groups have invested in Rochester companies over that period of time. Which again, if you would have asked me, I probably would have said 20 or 30. And so there's just a representation of some of the logos there. But quietly, what's been happening over the last five years, 10 years, as all these programs and folks in the room that are supporting entrepreneurship, there's more activity happening here. And so we're thrilled. Um, things like Marl on Main and Yash for coming here and Prakash and Amir for the work that you're doing here. Just building on that momentum is really what we all want to do and making those connections. Those connections are critically important. So that's what's going on here in Rochester and here in the ecosystem. Uh, we want to continue to build on that momentum. We are here to support any entrepreneurs at the idea stage before you've even created a company all the way through trying to help you grow and scale. So that's who we are, what we're doing. Um, do you want me to introduce Ian, Jennifer, or are you gonna do that? Just go right ahead? Okay, so um, with that, um, Jennifer wanted to highlight some companies in the area, so um, we'll bring up Ian from Circle Optics. Ian um, is a great example of a startup who knows how to leverage lots of different resources available in the ecosystem to entrepreneurs. So they've been part of the Illuminate program, part of the incubation program, Venture Creations, Genius New York, many others, really cool optics related technology, imaging related technology, and um, I'll let him explain it. So thank you all for being here, for letting me have a chance to talk, and welcome Ian. <laughs> All right, how's it going, everyone? All right, let me make sure the clicker's working here. Uh, yeah, so my name is Ian Gauger. I'm CEO of Circle Optics. Uh, Circle Optics, we develop panoramic camera systems for a variety of different use cases, including robotics, aerospace, defense, and immersive media. Uh, but I really don't want to talk too much about what we do, because you guys know who we are already. You're our community, and you've supported us this whole way. Um, but something maybe you didn't know, Maybe clicker's not working. Do I get the right button here? There it goes. Yeah, so shout outs to the companies. Uh, Jim really already shout out for me. Nextcore Genius, uh, Luminate, Launch New York. Lots of companies in our uh, upstate New York ecosystem that uh, have supported us. Uh, so something you guys maybe didn't know, uh, Circle Optics, we didn't get our start in Rochester, New York. Uh, we actually came from a little town known as New York City. Uh, but we wanted to upgrade, so we moved from this building here uh, to this beautiful building on the right. Uh, so I, I think that's a pretty good upgrade. I don't know if you guys agree. Um, but really what we were looking for, a lot of people would think uh, we moved to Rochester because we're an optics company. That's not true. We we're looking for a community that would support a young company as it was growing. And uh, that's exactly what we found. Uh, so in Rochester, uh, you have an amazing talent pool left over from the legacy of the big three. But there's also a new wave of talent coming from the universities, U of R, RIT, amongst others. Uh, there's affordable office space and business services. There's also a really great community and work-life culture that we think bolsters the culture at our company. And we have grown from Zach and I at the start, to that group of guys there, to this picture. Now this is our team today. We've gone from two to more than 15 families in all. And most recently, we are named uh, one of the most fundable companies in the United States. I have more than 4,000 which applied. We are 16. A company right here from Rochester, New York chose for that. But really, lots of people are noticing. Um, I think everyone's noticing something we've known for a long time here. Um, 
Rochester, uh, so Gruber and Johnson uh, were writing a book. Many of you have probably heard about it, especially if you've heard Bob Duffy speak any time the past couple years, uh, called Jumpstarting America. And in that um, process of writing this book, they looked at more than 400 urban areas around the country that had the potential to be the next Silicon Valley. Uh, they ruled out cities and areas that have already made it, Austin, Texas, Seattle, New York City. Uh, and by putting together this list, uh, there was five upstate regents that made the top 16. And right at the top of that list, Rochester, New York. So that's fantastic. But uh, before I go, I wanted to leave you with one last thing, uh, just a little bit more about Circle. So uh, at Circle, we believe that technology has the ability uh, to enhance human experience. Uh, we're really happy to do that here in Rochester, and we challenge you. Um, you know, future entrepreneurs, current entrepreneurs, other people in the ecosystem, try to use your technology and your power to do the same. Thank you very much.